Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're going to find out which of the class 2 and 3 armors are the best to use when you're starting out. Let's whiz through class 2 first because there aren't many armors here and it's pretty straightforward. There are only 3 real armors here, the Packer, the Module 3M and the 6B2 Flora as the Twitch Rivals Special Packer is identical to the regular one except it weighs a little bit more. As a reminder for those returning to the lands of Tarkov, the real durability that allows us to compare armors like for like is called the Effective Durability, which is a combination of the durability figure that you actually see in game modified by the material of the armor. Each armor has what is known as a destructibility statistic, which determines how much damage the armor takes when it gets hit by a bullet, and because the 6B2 is titanium, this material is worse than Aramid for absorbing damage. In general, titanium is actually not that bad, but Aramid is by far the best, in part because you don't get armor with the Aramid material at higher than class 3. So the ranking for class 2 goes the Packer, the Module 3M, and then the 6B3 Flora at the bottom. Given that the 6B2 is only 3k cheaper than the Packer, heavier, has worse stats, and quite a bit worse effective durability, I never buy it and I stick with the Packer armor myself. There is a barter for the Packer which is for 3 lower half masks, but given that you need 7 of these Find in Raid for Punisher 2, I wouldn't do this unless you have non Find in Raid ones or more than 7 in your stash. Now, if you want the absolute cheapest armor, the Module 3M is not sold by the traders, but it is typically on the fleet for a very small amount of money, often around 20k or so. I don't really recommend buying too much Class 2 once you're at level 15, but you might consider it for cheap quest runs, or doing stir up on Factory, which is the pistol kills quest, that kind of thing. You can craft these two in the hideout with Lavatory 2, the 2 Ripstop and 2 Aramid, but this is more about completing Skier's supplier quest than trying to use it, as you get a find in raid version at the end. As well as the destructibility that we spoke about, we also have the concept of repairability and Aramid repairs extremely well with the traders as well as being cheap to do so. You can buy a broken module 3M from the flea and repair it up usually for less than 25,000 rubles which might be worth picking up if you just want to prevent getting one shot by scav buckshot in the thorax. It is worth mentioning here what class 2 actually does for you, given it's practically the lowest armor you can get in the game, outside of some helmets and glasses with class 1, any rounds with a penetration value of 20 or higher is basically going to laser straight through this. There is little point having high durability if the rounds go through regardless. Class 2 fails even against basic 9x19 PST and is only effective versus shotgun buckshot of various types and lower grade slugs, 9x18 except for a few rounds on the top end that admittedly you can't get access to early on, and the early Tokarev rounds as well. So be afraid of MP5s and PP19s, but you can feel a little bit more confident against the Kedders, the PPSH and shotguns. Overall, if you're buying new, stick with the Packer, otherwise maybe consider a Module 3M from the fleet once you get to it. Next up, let's look at class 3 armors, which also all protect both thorax and stomach regardless of which you pick up. These are a bit more useful, providing protection up to around the low 20s in penetration. This covers pretty much all the early game SMG ammunition, as well as anything less than T ammo for 545. Unfortunately, PS and higher for 545 AKs, M855 for the 556 weapons, and 762 PS are all pretty good at dealing with class 3, but it can be worth it for the slightly broader spectrum of protection. In patch 12, 12, 30, we actually have a new armor that has shot to the top of the leaderboard in this category, which is the Dr. Disrespect streamer item. This is a modified Packer armor at class 3, and as I said before, because of Aramid's insane destructibility stat, this piece is now technically the highest effective durability in the whole game at 240. It also has the lowest weight out of all of the class 3s, and has the lowest penalties too. If you can cover up the red material with a chest rig, it's by far the best armor in this category. However, being a streamer item, as you might imagine, it's not available on the traders, either for cash purchase or barter, but it can be found on the flea market once you reach level 15 for around 60k or so. I think that's kind of expensive, because I'd still rather have an average class 4 than a super duper class 3, but it's up to you. Next we have the 6B5 Ulay, which is the first armoured rig in the game. This means that you don't need to pair it with a chest rig, and it comes with 4 2x1 slots and 2 1x1 slots, which is not the biggest, but it's alright. The penalties on this rig are bigger than the class 2 armors, but overall it's not too bad. At the beginning, you'd rather have better move speed than ergonomics in my opinion, because you're not modding your weapons particularly for high ADS speed, which becomes more important later on. Accessible at Ragman 1 for 57k, this is pretty expensive, but is the best armor that you can easily get with cash at level 1 traders, and as we said, it saves you buying the rig. The bank robber is the absolute cheapest at 10k, so you can kind of consider the armor as 47,000 rubles and the rig as 10k to be equivalent. 
Players sometimes confuse this one with the other Yule, which is class 4, and accidentally use the class 3 version, which is pretty unfortunate for them. For this rig, there is a new craft in the hideout at Lavatory 2, requiring a class 2 6b2 flora, a Black Hawk commando chest rig, and an Aramid. You also need the awl and a sewing kit in your inventory as auxiliary items, i.e. you get these back once the craft is finished. I think this one is unlikely to be worth it, especially at Lavatory 2, because there are usually much more worthwhile things to be making in there. In the number 3 spot we have the Karasa, with decent stats however you can only buy or barter this one at Ragman 2, at which point again there are usually better options. I'd only use them if I found them, and this includes the new craft in the hideout for Aramid, Ripstop and the Packer. You need to have the sewing kit and the all in your stash as auxiliary items here too, but again I don't think it's worth it either economically or even just tying up your hideout making it. The Zhuk 3 is more commonly referred to as the press armor and is a decent mid-tier class 3, and it's often found on scavs and made of polymer, so it repairs very nicely. There is a barter at Skier 1 for a cat figurine and a pompon hat, but unfortunately the cat is used in another barter for the docks case which is in really high demand, so it's expensive on the flea market at the moment. Because of the scab availability, they are often the cheapest class 3s on the flea. What I like to do is click into the whole category and scroll down, as you'll see all the armors in one list which can be really useful sometimes for getting some bargains. Finally we have the 6B23 and the Untar at the bottom of the list with almost identical effective durabilities. These are armor steel and aluminium material types respectively, and with a new 6B23 costing 51k at Ragman 2, I personally think this is too much. There is a barter for one propane at Prapple 1, which can make this insane value at the start of the wipe, because propane can go for 20k or lower on the flea market, which is cheaper than a Module 3M. The Untar armor on the other hand is pretty bad honestly, with the worst move speed stats out of all of the class 2s and 3s, a bright blue colour to paint you out as a target to all your enemies, and it's not even that cheap. But before you go cutting them all up in the Lavatory 1 to make aluminium splints, do remember that you need them for two peacekeeper quests, the earliest one being humanitarian supplies, paired with the lovely blue helmet as well. You can barter these for 3 max energy drinks which can help out, as the equivalent of 50k from Peacekeeper 2 is quite punchy for the lackluster performance that you get out of them. So overall, what is the best class 2 and 3 armor early? If you're just starting out and you only have level 1 traders, the packer will probably be your best bet. 30k feels kind of expensive early on, but I think it's worth protecting against Scav's Buckshot, and because they are low value per slot for other players, you'll almost always get them back on insurance. Insurance is the cheapest at low levels, so I always insure my armor at the beginning as the return rate is so high and the price is so low. If you want the absolute cheapest armor possible and you have the flea market at level 15, the propane barter early wipe for the 6B23-1 is hard to beat if you are lucky with the prices. 20k it's worth a casual pickup even for basic questing if the alternative was going without. For the best protection, the new Dr. Disrespect rig is cool but kinda pricey, so I still think that the 6B5 Yule is the best bang for buck, especially given that it comes with rig slots as well. Now that you're clued up on all the armor, go and check out my video on the best weapons at level 1 traders to get out there and start busting up some PMCs. As usual, a big shout out to all my patrons who help support the channel, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.